This world isn't perfect. But the key is empathy. I mean, we have to really nail that home. So maybe if there's 10 guys going after you, yeah, you run away. But maybe one time you run into one of them, that's when you show kindness. That's when you show kindness. Because now he doesn't have his friends to back up his hatred, and he might get to like you. He might get to know you. He might stand up for you. I'm going to tell you this story, and it's one of the greatest stories I've ever heard. It changed my life. In Africa, in the 60s, maybe the 50s, never got the full date yet, they built this new animal reserve, and they went and they got baby elephants from all the herds and put them all together. They figured it'll grow together, it'll be all one herd now. Great story, you know? Be kumbaya with all the elephants, okay? Well, all these elephants got to be teenage elephants, and whatever teenage elephant years are, probably four or five, I don't know, I'm not an elephant. But anyway, when they got to be about teenage years, these elephants, they started like killing everything, killing the hippos, killing the rhinos, chasing the humans away, they were their caretakers. Um, they couldn't control them. So they started shooting them, killing these elephants because they were out of control. And this old African man came to them and said, stop shooting them. And they said, well, what should we do then? He said, go back to their herds, go get the old big elephants, bring them in here, let them smack these little elephants around a little bit, but let the big elephants show them how to be elephants. They don't know how to be elephants. And that's what our world is. And every one of us, you, everyone in this room, everyone I talk to, we all have to be old elephants in our families, in our lives, and in situations where if you hear someone say something racist against white people, whatever, you need to step up and say something. Say, that's, that's not correct. And you really need, everyone needs to say it when they say it in front of children. If, like, if you ever say something racist in front of my children, I'm going to make you answer to it right then and there. Like, how dare you? My children have the right to have a, a good heart, good beliefs, not believe what you're saying, this ignorant, racist joke or whatever. Because what we always get, and if we get this on the Mexican side, on the black side, the white side, when people say something racist, and you say, whoa, why would you say that? They say, my grandpa says it. It's okay. He's old school. I say your grandpa ain't old school. Your grandpa's a racist. And we need to step up and say that to each other and say, this is unacceptable. We are on this planet that goes around the sun. That's all we are. And we need to start knowing that we're the only ones kind of here that have a conscience and we're just human beings made up of DNA and we won't get it. We're never going to get it.